Hey guys, this is Adam Gusso from Satan and Adam, and I want to talk to you about fox chases and train songs. Uh, you really, years ago, there were only two things that a harmonica player had to be able to do in order to prove that he was a harmonica player. I mean, a blues harmonica player. One was a fox chase. You had to be able to do a kind of instrumental piece that uh, took people all the way through the process of a bunch of hounds chasing after a fox, treeing him, eventually killing him, uh, and 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 the whole thing sort of ends with that. So there were a lot of sounds that you needed to make. Um, there's a wonderful version of a fox chase. It's a harmonica fox chase that doesn't involve a harmonica. It's called the Texas Wildcat Chase. It's on one of those early document CDs that has uh, you know Birdhead Lewis or Noah Noah Lewis or Freeman Stowers or one of those guys. Anyway, you want to check this stuff out. Texas Wildcat Chase. Pretty remarkable stuff. The other kind of song you needed to be able to do uh, or perform was a was a train song. Uh, you may not realize this, but the first star of the Grand Old Opry was an African-American harmonica player named DeFord Bailey. And his, he was a master at doing train songs. So I think we ought to talk about train songs a little bit. I've got an A harp. Okay? We're gonna, I'm just going to throw it at you right now. Forget about the fox chase. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you instant train song on the harp. Okay? Now, the rhythm that I like to, to teach people, it's a tricky rhythm. It's, not, it's, not, it's, it's a tricky mouth thing. This is really one of the subtleties of blues harmonica. And I call it the nucka tucka rhythm. Nucka tucka. Okay? Now, if you want to do this rhythm properly, in fact, the first thing you should do is take your, your A harp. I'm going to use an A harp. Probably put it down. And then try to practice what I'm going to show you without the harp. You're going to go nucka tucka, nucka tucka, nucka tucka, nucka tucka. Can you do that? Nucka tucka, nucka tucka. You're tapping your foot. Boom, 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 boom. Nucka tucka, nucka tucka, nucka tucka, nucka tucka. Now, this is when it gets tricky. I want you to go nucka, but say that while you're drawing in. Nucka, nucka. Now, you're not going to say it, you're going to kind of whisper it. Nucka, nucka tucka. And then you're going to go tucka on the out breath. Nucka, tucka. Nucka tucka, nucka tucka, nucka tucka, nucka tucka. Now, you're going to find that you need to kind of stop your, your glottal stop a little bit. Now, if you can do that, and then you can put the harp in front of your mouth in the right way, you've got a train song. Now, the key thing is getting that beat, so you got to groove it. You're going to go... Now, what you'll find is, the reason it's good to do it without the harp, and, and I'm even finding this right now, is that as you try to do it... It's hot in here, by the way. I'm going to have to open the window. As you try to do it, in fact, let me let me pause. Oh. They're, uh, they're mowing the lawns around here. So, you're going to go... Nucka, tucka, nucka, tucka, nucka, tucka, nucka, tucka, nucka. on the in-breath, tucka on the out-breath. Nucka, tucka, 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 nucka, tucka. Okay, what happens when we take the A harp and we go nucka? Well, the first thing you realize is it's not really nucka, it's sort of tucka, but on the in-breath. By the way, excuse me for the lighting, the sun's in and out, in and out. So if I come forward, I'm in the light here, I'm in the shadow. So this is the rhythm. I'm going to play it full speed and then we'll break it down. Oh boy, what did I just do? Okay, well that's the second part. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Nucka tucka. Okay. So you're gonna go nucka. But it's really like tucka, tucka, tucka. Right? If you say tucka on the in-breath, it comes out like a cross between nucka and tucka. Nucka, tucka. So just try that much. Now it's gotta be very hard, fast, staccato. You're trying for that word staccato, right? The opposite of legato, which means flowing. Staccato means start and stop. Hit it hard. In fact, you might even want to start by going chuck chuck. James Cotton at the beginning of Creeper Creeps Again. Uh. So I'll, I'll use the chuck chuck thing a lot. Okay, but you're going on a Let's just do, let's break it way down.
So I'm going naka or tucka on the end. And I'm letting my, my when I go tuck, that's my tongue hitting the roof of my mouth and then breaking away, right? Nuck, tuck, tucka, tucka. That's the, the, k, the k moment is when your tongue hits. The ah or ka moment is when it pulls away. Tucka, tucka. So nucka, nucka. Tucka, tucka. Now notice my upper lip on the out breath. Now you want to stress the in-breath, and I'm out of time. I got another 20 seconds. This is one of those rhythms that's easier to do when you're doing it a little more quickly once you get it. It's hard to actually keep it flowing low. I've got to stop. I'm all out of time. I can't believe it. Okay. I'll see you soon with another lesson on train songs, and there's a, there's a lot more stuff to cover on this instrument, trust me. See you down the road. www.modernbluesharmonica.com. See ya.